Virtual reality is cropping up in the technology world's conversation more and more these days. While a lot of attention goes to the fancy VR gaming scene or VR experiences, there's actually a pretty good case to be made for VR as a productivity tool. The best example of this is the VR desktop application. I set out to answer the question, can you actually work with a VR desktop using two popular apps? The short answer is yes, but there are some serious trade-offs involved. Before going any further, let's clear up exactly what a VR desktop is. Essentially, it's a virtual environment that offers a projection of your own computer's screen. In other words, you'll see a virtual screen displaying exactly the same information you would see on your physical screen. But instead of it being on your desk in a room or office somewhere, it's in a virtual space. You need three things to run a VR desktop. First, you need a desktop computer that meets the minimum specifications. Next, you need a VR desktop application. And of course, a VR headset that's compatible with the app in question. There are a few main advantages to using a virtual desktop solution. The first is that you can have as much space as you like with monitor configurations that would be impractical in real life. Most people can't afford to accommodate a six monitor setup, but in some VR desktop apps, you can do just that. The second big advantage is that you can create an environment where you can work in a focused way without being distracted. Combine your VR headset with a good pair of noise canceling headphones and you'll be working in total tranquility. Another big draw of this VR desktop setup is its portability. If you're someone who travels and often has to sit and work in hotel rooms or other spaces where you can only use a laptop, it's not that hard to bring your VR headset along and have as large a setup as you need in virtual reality. Not to mention that you can use it as your own personal cinema or big screen video game setup. There are more reasons to go the VR desktop route than this, but I think these are the three primary use cases. Now that we've covered the theoretical stuff, let's look at two of the best virtual desktop apps you can get today. Virtual Desktop. This paid app is probably the best known virtual desktop app, and it's certainly got first dibs on the name that describes the genre. This app is only available as paid software, but it's been around for a few years and the developers have plowed that money back into making the program polished and stable. Virtual Desktop on the Oculus Quest works wirelessly. We had our Windows computer connected to the router via Ethernet and the headset connected via a 5 GHz wireless AC access point. Whether working or playing video games, we experienced no lag whatsoever. The screen was perfectly clear, apart from the chicken wire pixel grid effect that most VR headsets still have. Virtual Desktop is very streamlined. It's easy to move and resize screens. Virtual Desktop supports multiple physical monitors, but as far as we can tell, it does not support virtual monitors at this point in time. The program is incredibly stable and polished. It was dead simple to use and it has decent integration of the Oculus Quest's new hand tracking feature. For the most part, that means you don't need to use the touch controllers. Apart from the lack of virtual monitors and a lack of environment variety, the main drawback is that there's no free version of the app. Nonetheless, it's worth every penny for anyone looking for a polished, reliable personal VR work environment. Even better, the Quest version of the app has recently been updated to allow for wireless VR gaming from your PC. Immersed VR. Immersed VR is a newer entrant to the virtual desktop world, but it's already making some waves. The good news is that there is a free forever tier to this Oculus Quest application. The company plans to extend to other platforms in the future. Immersed supports one virtual monitor on the free plan and up to five on the paid monthly tier. It also offers more varied environments. You get public and private collaboration in the virtual space with others, although private spaces are limited to paying customers. There's a neat virtual webcam and advanced features such as hand tracking are coming. Best of all, this works on Windows, Mac and Linux. While Immerse doesn't feel quite as polished as virtual desktop, this is one to watch and since it's free, one to try. So can you actually work in VR? I spent many hours in VR doing the normal everyday things we would do using a monitor. While there was an adjustment period, it soon became pretty natural to work in the VR space instead of the real world. The virtual monitors rendered by the Quest look pretty good, though not as sharp as they would be in real life. This is however made up for by their large apparent size and, in the case of Immersed, the ability to spawn multiple virtual monitors. 
People who need to look at their keyboards to use them will of course struggle, but if you can work your keyboard and mouse without needing to see them and have a headset that's comfortable enough, a virtual desktop can be an amazing place to work. See you next time.